What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a very exciting video for us Liverpool fans because it looks like the Manchester City and Pep Guardiola era of dominance is coming to an end because uh, many journalists and newspapers are reporting that Pep Guardiola is set to leave Manchester City at the end of next season and that is an absolute bombshell, really really big news because I think Guardiola knows and probably Man City lawyers told him that Man City are about to face the punishment for the 115 charges against them for breaking financial fair play and profit and sustainability rules and for failing to comply with the Premier League investigation, failing to provide documents and failing to, fra failing to provide information that is literally in the Premier League set of rules that they have to do. Man City are delaying this now six-year investigation as much as possible and Pep Guardiola is probably uh, leaving the sink sinking ship at the right time. He doesn't want to face all the media questions so the only way that he will face the media questions is if the punishment is announced mid-season and I would love that to happen that Man City face a 20, 30, 40 point deduction mid-season and they are announced to be kicked out of the Premier League after next season. Man where Guardiola's contract expires at the end of next season so next summer Guardiola is free to leave and Guardiola joined uh, Man City in 2016 one year after Jurgen Klopp joined Liverpool and if it wasn't for Guardiola I think Jurgen Klopp would be three time Premier League champion and some Liverpool fans are saying that Guardiola ruined Jurgen Klopp's legacy what do you think about that I think Jurgen Klopp's legacy is as good as uh, you know people like Bian Shackley, Bob Paisley and Kenny Dalglish if you just look at the trophies of course he hasn't won as many trophies as Bob Paisley or Kenny Dalglish at Liverpool or even I think he won more than Bill Shankly but if you look at the points total if you look at his win percentage if you look at the amount of cup finals that he played his legacy is as good as anyone and the way that he took us on a ride I think Jurgen Klopp's legacy is cemented as one of the best managers to ever uh, manage Liverpool in their entire history and Jurgen Klopp definitely deserves a statue. Steven Gerrard and many other former Liverpool players have said that. So what do you think about this news? Let me know in the comments below and I think this is a good time because Arne Slot comes in, he has one year in the Premier League to get experience and then when Guardiola leaves the Premier League title race will be a lot more open. So it looks like Guardiola is expected to call time on a spell of unprecedented dominance. Of course on the pitch Man City have to be praised for what they have done because it was an unprecedented spell of dominance in terms of their own history. Man City have won the league only twice before their takeover and now they are sitting on 10 Premier League titles, 10 league titles in total. Guardiola won six league titles in seven years and Man City even though they want to extend Guardiola's contract he always extends well ahead of time so the fact that he hasn't extended his contract yet and it only has one year left indicates that Guardiola wants a new challenge wants to leave he has won everything at Man City I hope Matt Guardiola leaves he won a total of 15 major trophies and the big one delivered their first Champions League trophy but Man City's hierarchy fear that Guardiola's ninth year will represent the end. While Man City stressed there has been no formal indication either way from Guardiola, multiple sources within the football industry and Man City have openly discussed the prospect of an impending departure over recent months and even Guardiola in his uh, post-match interview after their last game where they won 3-1 against West Ham and clinched their unprecedented fourth Premier League title in in a row, even Guardiola said that next season might be my last season. The news will act of course as a big boost for Man City's rivals especially Liverpool and Arsenal who missed out on multiple league titles uh, in the last uh, seven seasons where Guardiola has won six league titles and I mean it's absolutely crazy that before Guardiola came in the Premier League record was 95 points where, where Mourinho's uh, I think first season at Chelsea in 2005. Since then Guardiola achieved a, a 100 point season and 98 point season and Liverpool finished the uh second with 97 points and also second with 92 points. Guardiola absolutely increased the 
points total that is necessary to win the Premier League. Girona's Michel, Girona manager Michel, who guided Girona th to third place in La Liga, he is talked up as a potential candidate after impressing in La Liga. Girona, of course, is another club that the Man City owners, the City Football Group, own and uh, I think it's a conflict of interest that uh, Girona and Man City will play in the Champions League next season. Both clubs are owned by the same people. How is that allowed? You know that um, UEFA just care about money. They don't care about upholding the rules really. Julian Nagelsmann is another candidate and Xabi Alonso is highly thought of. Uh, Guardiola himself admires Roberto De Zervi. The worst case scenario for Liverpool fans is Xabi Alonso takes over Man City and then they just keep continuing to dominate the Premier League. That would be an absolutely worst case scenario. And what I love about this, this uh, fact is that many Man City players will look to leave Manchester City probably this summer. Ederson and Kevin De Bruyne are targets for Saudi Arabian clubs. Bernardo Silva has a 50 million release clause and Barcelona want him. Uh, Lucas Paqueta, Paqueta is charged uh, for uh, breaching FA betting rules. So Man City's move for Lucas Paqueta is off the table and hopefully Man City will not be as hungry next season and hopefully Guardiola's last season will not be as successful as his previous seasons uh, at Manchester City. Sometimes when managers leave you know the wheels can, can fall off like you have seen it at Liverpool and the journalist who's, who is reporting this news that Guardiola is leaving is uh, a Man City journalist who is uh, very high on the reliability list because he has had a number of exclusives about Manchester City over the years and even if they hire one of the best managers around in Europe Guardiola at Man City is just a, a cheat code he has achieved uh, incredible points totals and I think any I, don't, I think anybody else comes in Man City will not get 95 to 100 points regularly like they did on the Pep Guardiola yes Man City will continue being successful unless they get punished big time and get kicked out of the Premier League but any manager who comes in it, there will be a drop off Man City will still be a force to be reckoned with of course the charges pending the punishment pending the, it will be a lot will depend on the punishment if they get kicked out of the Premier League if they get kicked out of Europe then hopefully the owners will sell Man City and then they will be back in the wilderness because without the Man City owners Man City wouldn't be anywhere near you know the title or even the top four and there are reports that Manchester City's charges will be discussed in a hearing by the Premier League Commission in October of this year and also late 2024 or early 2025 is when the verdict, the ruling will be announced on what the problem punishment will be for Manchester City for breaking, breaking 115 Premier League, different Premier League financial fair pay rules. Frankly at this point I think it's embarrassing for the Premier League, for the integrity of the Premier League to let this investigation drag on for six years. I don't don't care if Man City used any and every legal avenue you still should come to a verdict much much quicker because you have seen literally seen the league won four years in a row by a club cheating the rules and not following the rules and that questions everything about the integrity of the Premier League that questions uh, the whole brand and uh, a lot of football fans are frankly quite disgusted about the way this has been handled because we have just seen Pep Guardiola come in and dominate the Premier League with Manchester City while for six years they have been charged with 115 financial fair pay rule breaches that's not right that's not the correct way to do things if it wasn't a, if it was another country for example Italy punished Juventus uh, straight away after they were charged and they got expelled from Syria they got the two of their titles stripped but the Premier League is not uh, as quick and it's a real shame. Also in other news David Lynch a very reliable Liverpool based journalist is reporting that Liverpool are expected to sell Kevin Kelleher a 25 year old goalkeeper who has been very impressive this season. Of course he played a lot more than expected because of Alisson's injury and because Liverpool have been in the Europa League but according to David Lynch the odds of Kelleher staying as Liverpool's number two seem slim. I'm not 
not convinced that St Callagher will still be at Liverpool. A lot has to happen. It's very hard to guarantee that someone will leave the club, but would, I wouldn't back the idea that Callagher will be around as the number two goalkeeper next season. And Liverpool are looking at a number of different goalkeepers. He said he has had a great season, Callagher, as Alisson's backup. He won the Carabao Cup for the second time. I would expect that he goes. It's evident that uh, Kelleher's performances have been noticed by other clubs. But Liverpool wants 20 million for him and will any club pay that amount? That's the big question. Liverpool have got some signings to make in that department, the goalkeeping department, but they also need to take a closer look at Vitoslav Jaros, who has had a very impressive loan spell in Austria. So let me know if you were in charge of Liverpool, would you sell Kelleher or would you keep him? Uh, what should be the strategy? And also another word on Sepp van den Berg. Uh, there were rumors that Sepp van den Berg has a very low option to buy clothes in his Mainz loan contract, but that has been rubbish by James Pierce, who said that Liverpool value Sepp van den Berg at around 20 million and Mainz don't have an option to buy him after an impressive loan spell. Interest from Brentford, Southampton and Wolfsburg and other clubs no decision on whether to sanction a sale will be made until he has been assessed by Arne Slot during preseason, and I love that. Kelle, uh, Van den Berg should play the full preseason with uh, Arne Slot in charge, and then Arne Slot should be the judge of whether uh, Sepp van den Berg is good enough to stay at Liverpool. I think Sepp van den Berg deserves a shot in the Liverpool squad. And who knows, he might save us a lot of money if he, tur if he turns out to be a really, really good player. He has sorted his coordination issues uh, out and he was the fastest centre-back in the Bundesliga as well with very high aerial duel win percentage and grand duel win percentage. And he was one of the highest rated centre-backs who is 23 years old in the top five leagues. Uh, Sepp van der Berg has been on loan four seasons in a row. So either Liverpool keep him or we sell him for good. There is no use of loaning him out again. So I think it will be a, one of the biggest pre-seasons of Sepp van der Berg's career. I'm sure that he would love to fight for his place. And a new manager coming in is actually a good thing for these young players because it's a clean slate. You can impress the new manager in pre-season straight away. And if he gives you the, a chance in the squad then you have a season to prove yourself at Liverpool so I think that would be the favorable outcome for Sepp van der Berg's point of view but let me know what do you think in the comments below and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching have a nice day see you later guys goodbye